Throughout history, there have been amazing women of color in the field of science who paved the way for others. One of these notable women was Dr. Betty Washington Green, a pioneer in physical chemistry. Dr. Washington Green was born in Fort Worth, Texas in 1935 during the Great Depression. She was interested in chemistry at a young age and excelled in her studies. Her high school chemistry teacher encouraged her to attend college to pursue her education in chemistry. She excelled not only as a chemist, but as a wife and mother. She married William M. Green, who was a Tuskegee Airman. They had three children. A woman who would talk about, instead of milk uh, spoiling, it's coagulated, you know. You know, she would talk about viscosity. You know, even as we were cooking, it was chemical terms. And that was a very atypical, not only atypical African-American experience, it was an atypical American experience. You know, because my father was an electrical engineer, so it's just kind of like, we were a science household. In 1955, Washington Green earned her bachelor's degree in chemistry at Tuskegee Institute, now known as Tuskegee University. She pursued doctoral studies in physical chemistry at Wayne State University in Detroit, Michigan. You know, at the time that Dr. Washington Green got her PhD in our department, there were very few women getting PhDs. And um, she was, I, I don't think she was the first, but she was one of the first African-American PhD um, scientists, you know, to come out of our department. So that was very important. Well, she told me um, that it was challenging to uh, climb the ladder, you know, as a woman or as a woman of color. And so to be extra good, you know, to make sure you, you know, dotted every I, you've crossed every T. Um, and, and, and don't take for granted and don't expect people to give you a pass. I mean, she loved the colloid chemistry and the, uh, the surface chemistry. Um, so, and, and whatever challenges the science presented, that didn't bother her so much. As in every place, there were probably, there were occasions of, you know, just the political jockeying that occurs among people. But I don't remember her being disappointed with the science aspect of it. Dr. Washington Green received a PhD in physical chemistry from Wayne State University. She was one of the first female African Americans to earn this distinction. Wilfred Heller, a Wayne State University professor and chemist, became her mentor and provided support through her academic journey. I remember so many times she spoke um, admirably, you know, of her thesis advisor. And so I think she, she just felt that she had um, the, you know, the wherewithal to take on uh, the task at Dow Chemical. And she was, she was grateful for the opportunity. She began her career in 1965 at Dow Chemical Company in the Saran Research Laboratory in Midland, Michigan. She conducted extensive research and made great strides in colloid and latex chemistry. She was a pioneer at Dow, the first African-American woman to work for the company. She paved the way for other talented black female scientists. Dr. Washington Green retired from Dow in 1990, where she is credited with several patents and countless impactful discoveries after 25 years of service. Yeah, so I mean, in terms of like what really she has done, I mean, she specialized in latex products, right? Or the understanding of the chemistry of latex products and colloidal science. And so that goes a far way within Dow in terms of, you know, the reach of technology that that pushes forward. And then also the fact that she, her work kind of led to quite a bit of innovation in the paper industry. So I think that is, you know, really valuable in terms of her impact um, at Dow. She was very influential in terms of what she did, right? So being one of the first African-American females to um, land a, a job here at Dow um, in that regard from a, a technical perspective, I think that was very huge, right? So with that, you know, it kind of spearheaded the influence of what could happen later on down for other folks um, within that, you know, cultural demographic. It's not just her being hired into Dow, it's the impact that she had with a lot of the work, right? So being able to be patented, um, a published scientist, and then your work being used um, for further processing down, down, the, down the stream, right, where your, your, your science is, gets influenced into making new products and new materials. I think that's huge, right? Dr. Betty Washington Green passed away in 1995. Her story has captured the interest of countless scientists, chemists, students, women of color, and many others. 
Wayne State University and Dow Chemical have promised to honor Dr. Washington Green with a lecture series that honors her legacy. We will uh, look to highlight Dr. Green's efforts um, from her legacy to her work um, adult, that Dow Chemical is sponsoring. And so that's something that really highlights, you know, her impact and legacy all throughout. So that um, symposia is actually in sponsorship with Wayne State. And so, you know, we'll be able to, to talk through her work and then also give speakers a chance to really talk through their science that is really an impact from her work. Um, and, and these scientists are from you know, across the nation. And so those are just ways that she continues to be remembered. So I think it was important to have you know, a balanced lecture series where we highlight all types of scientists, male, female, from different um, backgrounds. She would, she's a perfect person to, to kind of um, highlight. There's, I mean, there, there's a ton, ton of successful alum that come through here. Uh, you know, her story is just really, you know, a great story, and so I'm glad, I'm glad it's coming, you know, and getting a lot of notoriety. And, and Dr. Chow, uh, very generous in, in sort of giving us a, a lot of money to, to kick this thing off and make it from just an idea and a conversation into something real. Um, and from there, we were able to get other, other monies to help, you know, make it grow. And so there's been a lot of generosity from, from Dow Chemical and from just a, a lot of people have been very generous to support this. I miss her, but I think that when you miss someone, that's a tribute to their value in your life. You know, that's a tribute to how valuable they were, how good the relationship was. And there's not many of those in life. I would hope she's uh, proud of me. Uh, I hope that I <laughs> um, carried on the legacy of our family. And uh, I would hope that she would say, I see that you're doing your best and keep on doing that.